All right, what's up guys? Now in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about three ways to thrive in business. Now it doesn't matter to me if you have been a longtime follower of our videos here on YouTube, if you've listened to our podcast, just straight up, I put out a lot of content um, since I've started this channel. And our channel is geared towards coaches, personal, trainer, uh, personal trainers, business owners, anyone who wants to either go online or create a successful offline coaching business. And I've had a lot of conversations over the last several weeks. Like as of right now, um, it doesn't matter if you watch this video in 10 years from now, but at this current point, um, we're in the middle of a coronavirus. And, you know, I don't want to put too much attention on that on this video, but I needed to come on here and, and create this because I know there's a lot of business owners struggling right now. There's a lot of people who are afraid of the future. They don't know what's going to happen. And as long as you do these three things I'm about to show you, I feel like you're going to be able to thrive with what you do. And I'm going to break this down piece by piece. If you're the type of person that doesn't like longer videos that are very well explained, um, you can probably fast forward a little bit here. Um, but what I would tell you is like my videos in the future are going to be long. They're thorough. They're to the point. Uh, I'm not here to entertain anybody. I'm here to educate you on how to have a more successful business. That's my purpose here. That's been my purpose since day one is to teach what I've learned. Right? So we're going to break this down. There's three ways to thrive in business right now at, at, with the economy, with the coronavirus, there's three things that you need to do. And I'm going to show you what these are and I'm going to give you examples. Okay. So the first is you have to be resourceful, right? For example, if you are used to doing all of your business in person, how are we going to do it online? How are we going to transition what you're, what you have been doing in person, face to face to online? Right. And it's very simple. If you think about it, it's like, I'm able to come on here and do this YouTube video and give information the same way I would be able to give information over a phone call. If I was talking to one of my friends right now or talking to a business owner and the way I spread that information is up to me, I can either do it online and help a lot of people or I can do it one-on-one. -on -one. So it doesn't matter to me how you transition online, but you should be transitioning online. Online is a great resource. It's a great tool. And you'll be able to use online in the future when this is all said and done as an extra revenue stream. So for some business owners, this is a big blessing for some that are looking at it, you know, very short term, this is just a little band aid that they're putting on top of their business right now. I am not approaching it that way. I'm approaching online to get bigger and bigger and bigger when this is all said and done, whenever that happens. All right. And a great example, yesterday I saw an interview with Dana White. He's the UFC CEO or president, whatever he is. Um, I'm not a huge UFC guy. I don't watch a lot of those fights. Um, I don't really know that much about Dana White. From what I do know is he's a resourceful son of a gun, right? He gets things done. And if you go watch the interview I'm talking about, it was like 20 minutes. He talks the entire time about becoming a problem solver. And he was talking about other, the other sports commissioners in the world. Everyone's afraid to be first right now to go back and, and try to run their sports. And he has like secured a private island, right? He has locations set up in the U.S. that he's going to run his fights in. He's making it work, right? And just imagine how much pressure he's under. There's probably billions of dollars at stake. And I'm serious when I say that. Like you have advertising, you have the stuff on TV, the stuff on pay-per-view, the people who are buying fights um, to come watch them, all of the travel, the hotel, like it's a multi-billion dollar industry. But somehow, some way, he's making it work. 
that should serve as a great example for you. Like if you're not the CEO of the UFC, you probably have a lot less pressure than he does. Right. Uh, that's an extremely high pressure situation to be in. He's making it work. Right. So this should be a good example. If he can make it work under unbelievably extreme pressure, you should be able to transition your clients online. Right. And that, that's a, that's an extreme example, but that should show you life. Life is going on. People are running their business. No matter what people are trying to figure it out and you have to be a problem solver. And if you go watch that interview, uh, he says it probably 20 times. He goes, everyone's looking for excuses right now. I'm looking to solve problems. If you go look at my last four or five videos on here on YouTube, where I talk about creating an online business, I say that the whole time you are creating solutions to people's problems. You do that, you can make money. If you don't do that, you're going to be sitting around and you're going to be watching other people like me take advantage of what's happening right now and create solutions versus just sitting around hoping, waiting, thinking that stuff never works. All right. So be resourceful. The second is you need to be in this to win it. All right. Give you an example here. When I played sports when I was younger, I, I hated losing. I hate losing more than I like winning. It's straight up. I'm the same way in business. So if I'm going to be that way in business, I'm going to make sure I'm doing whatever I can to be at the top. And anything less than that is not going to work for me. Right? So if that's the case, then I'm not looking at this period of time and like freaking out. I know that this is part of the game. All right. This is part of the game. Everyone's dealing with it. Everyone has their own problems that they have to deal with. Like there's restaurants, there's, there's fortune 500 companies that are, that are done right now. But if you're in it to win it, you're going to figure it out. And that comes back to being resourceful. Right. An example is look at the hardest thing you've ever had to overcome. If you were in it to win it, you stuck with it. If you're not in it to win it, probably gave up. All right. That's a personal example you can look at for yourself. I know for me how difficult it was starting my business and getting clients. That was way more difficult than what's happening right now for me. <laughs> right. And when you're in it to win it, you're going to do it for a long period of time. Like this YouTube channel I've been doing for like four years. I think I'm going to do this until I'm dead. Like I'm in it to win it. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to pivot and go try to start another channel. Um, and I have another channel too that I run. All right. In it to win it. Period. End of story. All right. Last thing here. All right. But let's rewind. Be resourceful. You're in it to win it. Problems are good. This is the third thing. When you run into a problem, and if you think about business, you have competition. You have people who are trying to do the same thing you're doing. They're trying to get the same clients you're, you're working with. Problems, in my opinion, are good. Anyone who's in my industry is trying to do what I'm doing right now. They, they're going to fold. And that's where I can step up and continue to lead with what I'm doing. And problems are opportunities. Obstacles are op opportunities to grow what you do and expand what you do and figure out new ways of doing it. Because the way that the majority of coaches and personal trainers had been training clients up to a month ago was, was all the same. Everyone was chilling, like business as usual. Now it's like flipped on its head and people are having to figure it out. Those who are not problem solvers are dead. Period. Right? But the reality is like, whether the coronavirus is here or something else happened, like problems are always going to happen. I run into problems every single day with my business and my business is not perfect. Like that's just straight up. There's always problems. Problems are good though. That means you're learning, you're overcoming, you're improving. And when you do those things, problems are a non-factor for you and they become a positive because that's teaching you how to do things better. That's teaching you how to, iron out things from happening again, right? So to recap, be resourceful, 
go find that Dana White interview. Like you'll, you'll be able to see it. Um, you're in it to win it. You're not doing this for, for a quick buck. Quick buck, Chuck. That guy never, never lives in business. He's always dead. He's always looking for the next bright, shiny object. And this is why, like, when I work with coaches, I make sure they don't have that mindset. They're not just in it to make money. They're in it for a long period of time. That's what they want to do with their life. And when you're crystal clear on how you want to live your life and what you want to do and how you want to run your business, it's a lot easier because you know you're going to run into problems and you know problems are good. Right? So I hope all of this helps you. If you have any questions, you're like, man, you know, I want to get to the next level of my business. I want to get more clients right now during this time. I want to build online. Shoot me a text at 210-960-5771. When you do that, I'll get back to you probably, probably within three to five hours. There's a lot of people texting me right now, so be patient. Um, and I'll, I'm here to help, guys. That's my only mission. I would not have put out all of this content on YouTube the last several years unless I genuinely wanted to help, right? That's all I care about. I want to help you get through this time, thrive during this time. This way we can come out of this with a more successful business, all right? That's it, guys. I'll see you later.